Here are Fortnite features you didn't know were illegal. There's no way you knew that swinging your pickaxe is illegal. But that's only in Arena. Because back in 2020, Fortnite made it to where you're able to get banned for swinging your pickaxe. And it was because players would do this to let other players know that they were not trying to fight each other. The main goal of doing this was so players could rotate to the next zone without getting eliminated. And I don't know what Fortnite has against swinging because swinging on a swing set was illegal as well. Classic epic. Back in chapter one, there used to be a glitch that would happen when you hopped on the swing set in retail row. That completely glitched your character out and tricked Fortnite into thinking you were speed hacking. Just look at this. Wait, what if I see? And Wait, what? How? This worked. I got pinned. And what about buying V-Bucks being illegal? Because YouTuber Landon was on the mission to buy one million V-Bucks, and he spent thousands of dollars doing this. But when he finally hit a million V-Bucks, he was literally banned. But it was actually a coincidence. It wasn't for buying the V-Bucks, because Landon was actually banned for using a custom skin, which violates Epic's TOS, which might be obvious. But did you know that playing golf is illegal? Because back in Chapter 1, Season 5, Laserbeam and some of his friends were testing out some new emotes and stuff that was added to the game. But when he decided to try and score a hoop with a golf ball, he got banned. Just look at this clip. Nah, you can't. <laughs> <laughs> no, Wait, man. actually. What? I think I just got kicked out of the game. I'm not sure why he got banned for doing this. Maybe something with the way he was trying to get a better internet connection. But well, luckily it got fixed. And we're all waiting for Fortnite Mobile to come back at some point because at the moment, Epic does not have the right to have any of their apps on the App Store, which sucks in my opinion. So that basically makes Fortnite Mobile uh, technically illegal at the moment, since Fortnite did break Apple's TOS to avoid paying them their percentage of money, and sadly it doesn't look like Mobile is going to be returning anytime soon. As well as police cars, since Fortnite banned them and completely removed them from the game. They did this to show awareness of some world events that took place during 2020, because before that, you were able to find police cars all around the map but now you won't see even one of those in creative, nothing. So it looks like they're gone for good. And if you could drive them, I'd avoid them. But did you know avoiding fights is illegal? Because back in chapter one, a player known as Zacubus was playing in a DreamHack tournament and got banned for not pushing a player he saw a few miles away. Take a look for yourself. Oh! What? Then what's crazier to me is that he's the first player ever banned for that. But that's not as bad because did you know that playing arena could be illegal? Not even joking, if you're underage and playing in tournaments, you can get banned. Which is exactly what happened to Xenon. Because when he was nine, he was trying to play arena and got banned for over 1400 days. Basically until he would turn 13. But luckily, Fortnite fixed it since Ninja and FaZe Banks brought light to the situation. But speaking of Ninja, did you know it's illegal to eliminate him in Fortnite? Seriously, you'll get banned for eliminating him and doing an emote because this is exactly what happened to IC5. And this situation got Ninja a ton of hate since players were upset that he got the man banned for basically no reason. Well, apparently stream sniping, but is that enough? Just take a look at the clip for yourself. Wow, look how shitty the way. building. Oh, there's there's oh, Emo, there, 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 there it is! There it is, dude. The four is. player. Stream sniping. And that's not the only time eliminating someone is illegal, because you'll also get banned for eliminating your teammate. This is exactly what happened to Alex Ramy Gaming, who was one of the most popular Fortnite streamers back in Chapter 1. But he wasn't the nicest, because he decided to do this when his teammates didn't drop him a gun. Wait, 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 wait. I told you I needed a weapon. And I don't mind this being illegal, because I don't want to deal with team killing. But shooting your enemies could be illegal as well. Because four players known as Caro, Bucks, Keys, and Slacks got banned for trading damage in a tournament to avoid Storm Surge. So they actually were teaming, and this made Fortnite ban them for two months since they had proof of them teaming. I mean, they were even watching each other's streams. 
And while that rightfully should be illegal, the fresh emote shouldn't. Because Alfonso from Fresh Prince actually tried suing Fortnite since they put his Carlton emote in the game without his permission and made a ton of money from it. But he eventually dropped the lawsuit because he couldn't copyright a dance. But the emote hasn't returned to the item shop in over 1,000 days because of this situation. So, uh, I'm trying to buy this emote epic, but I'm not trying to buy an account because I already know that's illegal. And Fortnite usually doesn't catch many players when they are buying accounts, but they did catch Tfue purchasing an account. And this was one of the biggest bans in Fortnite history, since this is what made him start the default skin wave, because he didn't feel like buying skins again since he already had spent over $5,000 on his account. Then it seems like Tfue is a fan of doing illegal things because he used stretch resolution a lot in the earlier days, which is now illegal. If you don't know what stretched is, it's basically modifying your resolution so that you have a better field of view than everyone else. And Fortnite eventually put a stop to this since it gave players doing it an unfair advantage. But an FOV slider would be cool. As well as being able to play Fortnite for more than three hours. Because due to some actual laws in China, you're only allowed to play Fortnite for three hours if you aren't older than 18. And when you reach that time limit, you'll get this message on your screen that tells you to take a break and spend some time studying. And that's the main reason limited time modes are illegal as well. Not all over the world, just in Fortnite China. Because they don't have any LTMs, they even missed out on all the good ones, like the Marvel LTMs during Chapter 2 Season 4, and the legendary ones such as the Flora's Lava, 50v50, and Team Rumble. Dang, I, Fortnite at least give them something! But the time limit rule might apply to tournaments as well, because staying in a tournament match too long is actually illegal. And this is the reason Nate Hill and Funk Bomb got banned. Because when Funk Bomb got eliminated, he stayed in the match and gave a call out. Like Southwest, he has 30 health. <laughs> I feel like this is cheating, but. And due to this, they didn't give either one of them any of the prizes. That is most likely the reason it automatically kicks you from Arena now. But speaking of Arena, did you know it's illegal in Fortnite China as well? And you might be able to guess why, but if not, it's because of the three hour limit thingy as well. It honestly sucks to me how they have so many things banned, but at least they get free V-Bucks? And due to them getting free V-Bucks and being limited on microtransactions, this gives them no reason for the supporter creator system. But I think they definitely need the supporter creator feature since there are many great Fortnite content creators in China. Then most of the illegal things have been removed, but the bear hug emote is still in the game. But they just fixed the animation that it had because at first, the emote would put players in an awkward position if two players did the emote at the same time and one crouched. But Fortnite quickly took action since this isn't supposed to be in the game. Obviously. And I think the person who made this emote might have made the Calamity as well. And I say that because back in Season 6 when they added the Calamity, players instantly noticed something unusual when they did the Jubilation emote while wearing the skin. Which gave the skin jiggle physics. And I'm sure Epic was embarrassed by this, I mean, so they instantly went into the files and fixed this. And a 14-year-old kid went into the files as well to modify them and sell insanely illegal hacks. And due to this, Fortnite took legal action on this situation and sued the kid since he did break the TOS, modifying the game files without their permission. But the case was later dropped. And speaking of dropping, the Skull Trooper was dropped from Fortnite China. And any other skin, or at least versions of skins, that feature skulls and skeletal stuff. Because that is highly unacceptable for them to have in their versions of the game. This is mainly because they don't allow anything containing skulls or bones in their video games. So it seems like some Chinese players might not even know of some of these skins, which is crazy. But the craziest thing of all time in Fortnite is making it illegal to ride the battle bus. Yeah, back in Chapter 2 Season 3, there was a weird bug that would ban an entire lobby before they even had the chance to jump out of the battle bus. And no one ever discovered why this happened to this day, but I'm glad everyone got their accounts back. But maybe it happened because nobody thanked the bus driver. And although the Zapatron isn't illegal, it seems like it is, because we haven't had this thing back in the game since Chapter 1 Season 0 which was years ago at this point, and Fortnite should know how many players wish they had the opportunity to play with this weapon, so it would be cool if they were to bring it back for a little. 
but it would also be cool if you were to click on this video right now. Click it before I do something illegal.